If you do have acne and you are struggling with finding makeup products that suit your skin, keep watching. Don't bake your skin, big vanish. Hey guys, what's up? Is my face story here and I don't know if you noticed anything different today maybe maybe not I haven't really been wearing that much makeup lately you guys know I took like a huge makeup detox break I'd say probably about five or six months I didn't let anything touch my face and that's kind of what today's video is gonna be about it's going to be about a couple of ingredients that you should look out for when purchasing makeup I feel like it's a vicious cycle, you know, you have acne and you want to use makeup to cover your acne, but at the same time, your makeup could be creating or causing more acne. So it is kind of like a vicious cycle in that way. So I think it's really important to look at the products that you're buying. And I know it can suck, but sometimes spending a little bit more on the non-toxic products or on the natural products because they won't irritate your skin, they won't break out your skin, if your skin is sensitive, I'm prone to that stuff, I know mine is. And now that I've taken such a huge break, given my skin that time to heal, whenever I put something on my face, I can tell literally within like a matter of minutes if it's getting greasy, if it's feeling like itchy. So I feel like much more in tune with my body now and how it's feeling. And I also, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like a makeup detox has just like really helped my skin heal, it's helped my scarring heal. You know, I'm probably not going to ever be the person again where I was like wearing a full face of makeup every single day, but I feel like occasionally, you know, sometimes you just want to look a little fly. I don't know, it's whatever, whatever suits you, whatever floats your boat, but if you do have acne and you are struggling with finding products, makeup products that suit your skin, keep watching. Also, wait, wait, first, let's talk about one myth, okay, because I feel like a lot of people are always like, oh, uh, makeup causes acne, but er, that's wrong. Because if you think about it, if makeup causes acne, every single person that wears makeup would have acne, but they don't. <laughs> so yes, makeup can aggravate acne symptoms. If an acne sufferer has obviously those specific genes to have acne, like it can aggravate your skin, but makeup in itself does not cause acne. It would be the certain ingredients in the makeup that is aggravating your sensitive skin that is thus causing acne. Number one, bismuth oxychloride is the first ingredient to watch out for. And that is an ingredient that is really prevalent in a lot of highlighters. Anything that's shimmery is responsible for giving products a shimmery finish. And it also has been linked, so there's been studies done where it has been linked to causing cystic acne because it's blocking the pore, um, blocking the wall, and then it's getting trapped with dirt and oil. So bismuth oxychloride, number one, do not use. Number two, mica, silica, and talc. These are, again, the same thing. They are actually natural minerals that are found, like, on Earth, um, but they are, like, a little bit shiny, and they're responsible, again, for giving products a shimmering finish. That's what they're responsible for. Okay, okay. So it's going to be, like, highlighters, shimmery bronzers, again, the same thing. But the thing with these products, the thing with mica, silica, and talc, is that they are known to dehydrate the skin. So they're going to make, you know, kind of like the small little bumps, they'll make your skin flake off. So they will give you like an appearance of a youthful glow, but what they're really doing is dehydrating the skin, uh, making your complexion worse. So in the long run, not really worth it. Number three is alcohol. Believe it or not, it is found in tons of not just beauty products, like makeup products, it's also found in skincare products. I saw that there was alcohol in one of my moisturizers that I was testing out and alcohol is extremely drying so I, I honestly like why you need denatured alcohol in a moisturizer makes literally no sense to me it sounds like you know it's drying out your skin so then you're relying more on that moisturizer but it's not actually working but yeah denatured alcohol is really bad for your skin pretty much every alcohol it's going to dry out your skin it's going to irritate it and it's going to cause acne so look for that in both you know your makeup products and your skincare products also, when alcohol dries on the skin, it may, I know, I've heard of people, even my mom, <laughs> um, of taking alcohol like on a cotton ball and putting it on their zit, like once they've popped it. Once it dries on the skin, the problem is that it creates a thin layer on the skin, kind of like, you know, saran wrap or something. So then it's blocking the pore and then it's getting like dirt and oil trapped 
underneath that layer that's dried and then that is going to cause either a blackhead or a whitehead. Number four is acrylic. So acrylics help things to stick together, but when acrylics are applied to your skin, it's kind of the same thing as alcohol, it kind of creates this barrier. Acrylics do the same thing and then everything else gets trapped underneath. Number five, fragrances and dyes. These are terrible, terrible, terrible for your skin, especially if your skin is sensitive. I've seen so many YouTubers who have bad acne and they cut out fragrances, like even in their laundry detergent, cut out the perfumes, cut out all that stuff, and their acne cleared right up. Um, if your skin is sensitive, it's probably going to break out with any type of fragrance or dye. I would definitely avoid those as number five, that's huge. And those are found in a lot of skincare products as well, especially fragrances. And honestly, I don't really care what the product smells like as long as it works. So please, companies, stop using fragrances in your products. Thank you so much. Number six is going to be parabens, and this is like one of the worst products out there. I know now a lot of products are free of parabens. The biggest thing with parabens is that they're an endocrine disruptor. This means that they are going to mess with your hormones, and when something's messing with your hormones, then it's going to throw like the whole balance off, and that is obviously going to cause acne if it's messing with your stress hormones, if it's messing with your sex hormones. Whatever hormone it's messing with, it is probably going to end up causing acne. Um, parabens are actually banned in a lot of countries, just not America, so just make sure that your products do not contain parabens and, well, usually not in makeup because it's a sudsing agent, but make sure it doesn't contain SLS either. And number seven is going to be silicones. And silicones, again, are going to be dehydrating to the skin. This is found commonly in things like primers and Usually silicones will actually feel kind of like silky when you apply them, it might make your skin look smoother, but in the long run, again, it is going to hurt your skin. So, I mean, there's like tons of, you know, ingredients to look out for. And if you are lost and you don't know where to start, I feel like those seven are a good place because those are huge, huge triggers for, you know, regular acne and cystic acne. And in addition to that, another good place to look at is Think Dirty, and that's an app that you can download on your phone. I use that all the time. You can scan either like the product in the store that you're at, or you can just type the name in, and it will rate the product on a scale of 1 to 10. And this isn't like sponsored or anything, I just really like that app. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess that is all I have. The app is super helpful, you should download it, it'll help you a lot. The makeup I'm wearing today is called All Natural. It's all natural cosmetics and it's not toxic, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. And yeah, and I really, really like it. It feels nice and hopefully it looks nice. All right, that is it. That is all I have. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and whatever down below. All right, bye. There's a hope that